Hello everyone and welcome to today's reading. If you are new here, I am the Apocrypha and it is a pleasure to meet you. And if you are returning, welcome back, so family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. So, unfortunately, the beginning of this reading wasn't filming. <laughs> so, um, let's just get started. We have Gavel, Involvement with the Law. And then we had Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. And we had Love at the back of the deck before I put it down. Once I put it down, I felt like I needed to uh, turn the top over. And it was Arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So despite a certain situation that may be going on in your life right now, I feel for someone in particular, this could be uh, obviously in regards to love. Seeing here with this undependable insincere energy and this law energy, um, I'm thinking perhaps someone here is getting a divorce is something that I'm seeing here. Um, in particular, if this message really is for you and you really feel this um, very specifically, uh, not in a place of fear, but in regards to you really making this decision, if this is what you really feel that you need and what really seems to be the only option, um, then I feel like this is a confirmation here that um, you're not far off. I see here that there's this aspect of um, like a light at the end of the tunnel or like a sun moment even despite all of these uh, challenges that you may be facing at this particular time. I go ahead and put some more. Let's continue. I feel like I need to do this one first. We have clarity of belief in reverse. I believe this is the ace of um, swords in reverse. I could see how this ties in this uh, energy here of someone undependable clarity of belief with the ace of swords in reverse i feel like there's some kind of deceit energy here something has not changed or manifested properly there's something that is not in alignment okay so let's see what this next one is find balance two of pentacles i believe There's this imbalance here. 
where you see this, these different symbols. We see a ring, uh, what looks like a baby, a book, chalice, um, hourglass, and a rose. Again, I'm just seeing a lot of imbalance here. I feel like this is confirming the other messages that came through already. Manifest in reverse. So this is the magician in reverse. Again, things were not manifesting properly. Three of pentacles in reverse. Um, there may be some other kind of involvement or some kind of, uh, like things didn't work out, which again, it's a lot of confirmations here. We have one and three, two. One, two, three energy makes me think of like a full type of energy, like, taking the steps necessary towards something. But again, I see this isn't quite like going as planned. Coming together and lead in reverse. Um, I don't know if there has been like this push and pull energy, perhaps this dual sided energy, like at a surface level, maybe things seem okay. Like perhaps if this is your situation and you and your partner have been talking about splitting up um, perhaps you guys have been um, not outwardly showing this to people, but in reality, it is what it is. I'm getting this uh, like an emperor in reverse energy. going on trust and feeling alone perhaps there's a uh, trust issues here or someone left a situation behind trust that you are not alone in this situation Despite what is going around you, going on around you, you're capable of making changes in your life. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of uneasy energy. It's been hard for you to really stay in touch with yourself with your essence, with the truth of what it is that you need. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the truth is that you know this situation is not balanced. It's not bringing you stability. For some of you, it's not bringing you happiness. For others of you, it's been making you feel really insecure and unstable. Where you question things. Let's see what's underneath. Simply love. This looks like the Six of Cups, perhaps. 
Mm. I feel like it's not that simple. It's definitely not with the situation going on. I'm going to go ahead and pull some numbers. 0330. Let's see. It says love, peace, hope, and optimism, transferring responsibility to others, progress, and creativity. Pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad, a broad spectrum of individuals. <clears throat> We have 333, three, three. again, lots of three energy, support, growth, creativity, joy, community, vision, talents. Seeing that the angel number 333 three, three is a sign that it's time to focus inward, work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist, doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. <clears throat> I feel like this again is affirming, affirming this energy of needing to reconnect with them. Let's see what is underneath. We have, ooh, 1111, wish come true, moderation, patience, flowing, self-realization, manifestation, gateway, taking action. You're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news, experience, new opportunities, or an exciting acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. Trust in the signs that you're getting. So I feel like for some of you, this is um, like really confirming an energy that you are going through in terms of like, Mm, like how the cards are coming out and for others of you there's this energy that is something that you really need to delve deeper to understand like perhaps some of this is not really fitting in terms of a person or love situation but this could be in other aspects of your life perhaps you're giving too much and it's time for you to recalibrate and find balance once again. Noticing the signs and taking those signs seriously and doing something about it in the moment instead of waiting. We have the King of Swords. Mm. 
and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like for some of you, again, this has to do with you knowing the truth deep within you, but perhaps not acknowledging it. For some of you, there could be uh, trust issues, whether this is deserved or not. I feel like it will be different for different people. For some of you, things are changing. Um, it's in regards to you refocusing and recalibrating more on yourself. If this is a love situation, you're giving too much. Or if this has to do with family or a work situation that you um, are doing more than your pay grade, so to speak. I feel like uh, there's a lot of energy recalibration that is needed. I'm seeing rebalancing of chakras. For some of you, this could be getting Reiki done. We have the Princess of Cups and the Sun card. Again, this could be about love, but it does not have to be. I see you pouring more into your own cup and not so much focusing on pouring into other people's cups or um, figuring out a better, more balanced way of giving to those you care about. I see this increasing your happiness I see a lot of you transforming in very strong and beautiful ways. The more you follow your intuition, the more you will continue to develop and grow and transform. The more that you will blossom, the more you will find your happiness. There could be something about children here. It does not have to be. The sign of children does not have to be something literal. It could be you manifesting and creating. Um, this could be through business, through art, through uh, expression. This could be planting seeds, watching them grow, tending to them. There's many different things this could be for different people. I'm seeing something here. with four or six. So that could be in terms of finding balance and stability. And this could be, again, this could be love related, but I'm seeing this more about giving that love to yourself and finding that balance within yourself. Don't be afraid to speak to your partner about imbalances that you may feel if you feel like things are unfair or out of balance out of tune um mention it don't be afraid to speak up or speak out against something that is going on if you want to make something work it has to be spoken about <laughs> Okay, so we have all of the elements and directions here. I'm seeing lots of native energy or um, I'm seeing like sweat lodge, different things like that. I'm seeing cleansing and protection. But at the same time, it's like, don't be so caught up in your head over a situation, know that the truth will come through. 
but be willing to pay attention to what that truth is. Listen to the signs. Pay attention to the synchronicities. But notice them. They're telling you something. They're not just there to catch your attention. They're there to catch your attention to inform you of something. So take it seriously. I've seen cleansing and directions. There's this energy here. A lot of imbalance, instability. This isn't the Three of Swords, but I'm getting a Three of Swords energy here. With the Two of Swords, like some kind of decision. Something has been broken. Um, something has not changed. Five is a number of change and transformation. And it's in reverse. Let's see if we could get more information. Oh, I was about to say, oh no. I was about to say more information about what hasn't changed. And we have the devil and the three of cups. So... If you've been really feeling some unstable energies from your partner, some deceit, again, take this with a grain of salt. If this is not something that you feel is actually accurate, then it's not for you. But if you feel like this is something that you have been afraid of or concerned about or something that is really you know you're seeing a lot of synchronicities and signs about something then um there's a reason you need to give back to yourself The star, something has not healed. And again, is out of balance. Lots of unstable energies. Hmm. Is it like a fake healing or something? Eight of Cups, King of Cups. A walking away and moving away from something. This King of Cups energy filling water. Hmm. Let's go ahead and that card then it is <laughs> it says clouds temporary problems okay another card came out bag it says something important such as a new job or a raise I feel like this could be Instability manifesting through finances, perhaps.
We have heels, obstacles to overcome. It's a confirmation. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Underneath we have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Hmm. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. I feel like but this, the, what this is saying here is like, if you feel influenced by someone, like if there's something you wouldn't normally say or do, but all of a sudden like, you're feeling a lot of energy to do something or say something that you wouldn't normally, I feel like there's this energy here that's like, warning you to be cautious of this person. Whoever's in this energy, be careful and be aware. Whoa, that card flew out. We have marriage. Okay. This could be about marriage, reconsidering, um, or if you are married, we see younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man. Um, this doesn't have to be the case, but perhaps this person is younger than you, could be born the same year, but uh, later in the year, or you're younger or whatever the case is or if this is in regards to a different situation whoa um let's see you could be younger or this person could be younger hmm Let's see, we also have Lake stepping into a new experience. Not sure if you've been trying to find a new job or if this person has. Or there's something here about a younger man helping you find something. Um, Oh, okay. This one. Let's see. It says hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. If you've been thinking about going on a vacation, I feel like this is saying to do so. If you are able to. Let's see what these are. But underneath we have wealth. That could be a confirmation as to the message earlier about there could be some kind of financial issues right now. We have vase, secret admirer, someone is watching, someone is trying to keep tags or hoping for the best. Nest, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. Dog barking advice from a friend. I'm also seeing like Hecate's maze here. Hmm. Let's see. Wow. Wow. There is the Three of Swords from earlier. All right. There's the confirmation of that. 
That's undeniable. Whoa, okay. Let's take these that came up here. We have leaving or travel, and we just had like a travel card right now. Finances. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> The confirmations are crazy. Let's pull that one and this one underneath. We have lessons and blessings. And then we have battles and wars. Underneath we have love life. Wow. Okay. So definitely something that could be going on for some of you all these things that you're experiencing in your life no matter how upsetting it may be no matter how much redundancy no matter how you feel in a situation there's something that you are still learning your life is still having you go through these experiences because there's something that you are still learning. Perhaps some of you are tired of something. I feel like a big part of this is in regards again, telling you that it's time for you to give to yourself. Time for you to find that balance, that love, that security within yourself. Okay, so I was reaching over to get a different deck. I felt drawn to this one right there, and uh, this fell out. It is a um, green moonstone. So that could be significant. Uh, something about intuition and the heart. All right. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Let's go like this. We have the strength card in reverse. It's been hard for you. I feel like I need to see what's here. Two of pentacles. Wow, that balance, duality, energy. King of swords. Thinking. There may be lack of thought in something. This could be in terms of love life, travel, career. What's this? Imprisonment or slavery? Uh, for someone particular, there's this energy here of feeling uh, within this relationship, feeling imprisoned. That could be part of the imbalance toxic or abusive or something and that doesn't have to be physically only it could be mentally verbally emotionally in any way we have the knight of swords and the nine of uh, wands Definitely, if you're feeling like you need to guard yourself, guard yourself.
of the Wands in reverse and Temperance in reverse. We see two potions here, so like two of cups type of energy as well. Lots of fighting or disagreements or imbalances. And things not healing again. That message coming out again. Not healing. The three of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> There's no reciprocity here. Part of the imbalance is lack of reciprocity. Maybe someone's giving more to other people than to you. Five of Swords in Reverse, Page of Wands. Stop fighting what it is that you really know. What it is that you really feel. Stop fighting the truth that is being um, spoken to you intuitively. in reverse and the six of um, pentacles in reverse yeah things are not moving forward stably or uh, with stability and reciprocity too many differences here um if you feel like someone's telling you not to worry, but they're giving you reasons to worry, that may be a confirmation to you. Nine of cups in reverse and ten of wands. Uh, someone's not keeping to themselves or there's this lack of independence. Let's see, we have King of Cups with Queen of Candles. Oh, Three of Wands in Reverse. Okay, so again, this may be in regards to someone else. Um, there could be something about a third party or another person. Uh, again, this message is not going to be for everybody, but there could be something here in regards to, I hate to say this, but if you already are feeling like this, this could be a confirmation to you, like some kind of cheating or something. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to pull from a different deck. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to pull from these two. But let's see. I haven't used this one in a while. Your commitment is being tested. 
The energy is gaining momentum in reverse. I definitely feel like you really feel this energy really strongly. And you feel like things may not be moving along as they should or as you would like it to. It's been hard for you to really focus on what it is that you all need because you've been so um, energetically tied to a certain situation. This could be, again, love life, a feeling uh, imprisoned. We have spouse here, so definitely this could be love related. Let's see, underneath the end of a tough cycle approaches. So this tough cycle could be, you know, that this has been really hard for you. I think that shut off. Okay, so. Definitely you've been feeling like uneasy or unsure when it comes to love and being protected. They're being protected. The signs, the synchronicities, they have been telling you. I'm going to go ahead and read the book from this deck. We have regeneration. Wow. I love this card. We see all these snakes, which already symbolize change and transformation. This is a very feminine, empowered energy. Um, this is reminding me of some artwork of a sigil for Lilith um, by Asenath Mason. Let's see this generation card and see I just flipped um the book and I saw one that said cutting cords so you may need to cut cords with the situation again if like the first card of you know, has any indication of what's going on, then I feel like that's confirmation. Right next to this card, the regeneration is release and renewal. So remember that with every end is a new beginning, no matter how hard it is, no matter how much it sucks, sometimes things are just not meant to be the way that we want it to be in the moment. But we'll see in the future why things had to happen the way that they did. So this says, tap into your serpent aspect, the kundalini energy, to release any fears of dramatic change and dissolve karmic fears. Keywords kundalini, releasing fears and potential. This card presents a window into an ancient world in the form of mythological serpent races. It is said that the ancient kings and queens sprung from this invincible non-earth species, and over time they merged with humanity. The remains of this human and serpent mingling remain in our kundalini energy, and subtle dormant vibration of potential that lies in our root and sacral chakra. This connection might be experienced as an extrasensory perception or strong feelings of connection to the stars and places beyond this earth plane. With that being said about the root and sacral chakra, when I was choosing a candle 
for some reason I felt really drawn to this orange candle and it was I was really feeling the sacral chakra type of energy from it um, so definitely this serpent type of you know love center energy or passion uh, passion centered okay so let's see there's a lot of creative energy too. Creation, I'm thinking about this baby energy. Again, like this uh, creating this expression. All right. If you are troubled by change, meditating on this card will help stimulate your serpent aspect and help you release these fears. This can also help you dissolve karmic fears relating to Visitors or memories dealing with an emergence of advanced civilizations armed with answers, inspiration, and glamour. Heart practice. Contemplate your human origins and your soul's journey. How does this relate to any fears that you are currently holding? Awaken your kundalini energy through meditation or esoteric dance and allow the vibrations to dissolve any fears about change. I'm seeing a number 48 here with this page number. So stability. Find stability in creating different uh, cycles and circumstances. Okay. So I'll go ahead and hold this up closer. Hopefully you can see the detail. This is, uh, this feels very powerful, like, this fiery, creative, passionate, like, sensual, like, cryptic, um, I am feeling like Medusa energy as well and Lilith energy. Okay. Okay, so I am being told to pick one more number card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. And since we had that 111, I'm going to pull it over here. Let's see, one more, whoa, oh, whew. whoa, okay, <laughs> all right, new beginnings, okay, I'm gonna put this over this, fuck that card, all right, let's see, we have 444, four, four. well, 4444, blessing in disguise, oh, whew. Damn. It's hard to end on this for someone who is so deeply in love with this situation but knows what is for the best. Let's see what this was. The other wealth. Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Interesting. Okay, so it says. Obstacles, hardships, strength, strength, building character, experiences. There might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, in winds of change, you blow in your f favor. If you've been suffering or feeling lost, some things may fall apart but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. And then this one, let's see. High vibe, interesting. We have the ones and the fours coming together here. We have 0909, new beginning. Great chance, opportunity, courage, accomplishment, endings, conclusions, big love. 
Look out for an opportunity that might be a game changer. You're completing something major. It feels good to level up, huh? Close the old chapter. A new adventure will unravel. Okay. So, let's see. I'll just go ahead and read this. Divine Intervention, Prosperity, Big Ventures, Faded Events, Faith, Purpose, Higher Calling. Love or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It will be something much better than your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. How beautiful, huh? Taking chances. Don't be afraid to take chances um, if you feel really guided and led to do so. Okay? So, this is the end of the reading. I hope that you enjoyed. If it resonated, um and brought some clarity and perspective into your situation. Uh, that is all I could hope for, but in regards to this situation, I'm sorry if this is something that you're going through, and I can understand, you know, how difficult this is. Okay, if you're interested in a private reading, I am avail available. Please feel free to let me know. You can reach out to me through Instagram. Just let me know that you are interested in a private reading. If you'd like to leave any questions, comments, concerns, or um, suggestions, then feel free to leave a comment or if you'd like to share about your experience. If you feel like someone needs to hear this message, feel free to share this with them if it helped you please consider liking it and all that jazz all right and as always information disclaimers and decks are in the description box if you need to or want to have a look please do so all right um so i love you guys thank you so much for being here and i hope to see you in the next video. Alright, take care. Bye.